Um, I'll let him tell you his expertise. And Sam Carter, my son, is going to do the other side of um, the exercise here. But it's basically training, and we're going to basically talk about having, getting funds into accounts and um, um, some of the banking things that appear to be out, and some Zoom. Just be aware 
that this, that don't worry about the Swift code for us here in Australia, because that's for international stuff. It, we all we need to worry about, just like you don't do a um, normal, normal bank transaction, just the, the, the account name, which is on the top of the invoice, BSB in the account number. That's all you need to know. So let's get on, let's get on to it. So this is Zoom. I'm going to log into on this. So we go on to, um, if, you're, if you're the one doing the, um, oh you can see me there, if you're the one doing the, you know, the training, then it's up here. The, you get them to go, you get them to go to um, zoom.us, is that it? Yeah, or if, or if you have, an, um, if, you, if you download the software on, onto your computer, um, that's even better because then you can just go and, go in and join a meeting. So if you don't have the, the software, you just go to zoom.us and then it'll ask you for a code, for a meeting room code. As it there, then it says Zoom meeting and then the meeting ID, meeting ID number. Everyone got that? So that's what I'm putting in here now. 656628. Six, here could be a lot of probably you know, you know, right across the world. See there, right in there, see how we go? Yeah, too. That's where we got it. So, so that other one, so we've got Sam Carter here, this is the one Sam Sam's computer, and then we've got me, Alan Nelson, over there. So you can see me here on Sam's computer. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so this computer, this computer here, it could be um, over here in Brisbane. This could be um, over in, over in, um, you know, Russia. It could be anywhere in the world, and we're connected here online. Where does the number come from, Alan? It's this. Um, it's a unique number to your account. I've actually got the Zoom account, and um, and um, when you're the one, when you're the host, see yes. I'm the host there. Yes. It says Alan Nelson. Um, once once you once you've got an account and you've downloaded the software onto your computer, you actually have it. It's it's um it's your it's, it's like your bank account number. And it's always the same. It's always the same. Yeah yeah. So. Now I can um, see this little button here, this one here with a little green one, it's called share. Now I can share my screen. So I'm going to share my screen. So when it comes up, it, it comes up here and it comes up with a number of screens that you can share. So I'm going to share this one here because this is my, uh, my back office. And then I'll go down here, click share. So now you can see, um, this is my back office. Yeah, I've hit the board and stuff. And um, so now we have, you know what I'm telling you? Oh, that's three of them. Oh, that's absolutely right. <laughs> so yeah, any, anyone, anyone can join. Because, because, he's got, because he's got the number, he's joined on his phone. If they really joined on his phone, as you can see there, you can see on the bottom there. Yeah. Everyone see that? Everyone see that? So, so there's me up there on top. This is here. This is this one here on Sam Carver. And, and, and if you have a look, you can actually you can actually see that that my 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 screen there is on here. He's up here. Oh. And then you've got Leroy down there on his on his phone on the bottom. And I mean, so if anyone's got the, you know, you know the, the Zoom app on your phone, like I have, and you know, everyone should download the Zoom app on your phones. You can do this on your phone as well. So, so um, if I'm out, you know, if I'm out, so, um, wherever I am out, and someone calls me and they need support, I can Zoom them on my phone, and I can give them support from my phone. So is that just from the Play Store, Play Store download the app? Yes, the, yep. yeah, just the Zoom app on your phone, yep. So now I'm going to, um, so we're we all um, okay with Zoom now. You know how to do Zoom. Uh, it's it's, it's our main end recording this anyway, so, so, so um, he'll, uh, once he's done his editing, if he's in need editing, we could, you know, you can um, put it on online or something like that. And so now what we're going to do is um, I'm going to do a transfer. 
Go and do a transfer to um to what? the NAB. Yeah. Sorry? You transfer to my bank account. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go, here to add funds. Everyone's familiar with adding funds, yes? Yes. Yep. So add funds. So you see, see you got my little Santa hat on still? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna put 50 dollars 50 unit into my wallet. So we scroll down, you go with 50. Click out of that. So now we've got all these options to put money in units. We're going to go to this option here. Um, Bank Transfer Australia. You can see the little W, the little Westpac signal. And then this is important to click that, click the button. And now you'll see, that right here, you'll see that they give you the, the amount in Australian dollars. AUD. How good is that? So you don't have to do the conversion anymore because it's going into an Australian bank. <coughs> so we go down a little bit more, as usual, you know, we see the 7350 there, AUD, press add funds. And as usual, we've got to scroll down, and so we go to here, forward the in invoice for payment. And the reason for that is that um, we have close to a million members in the crypto unit program now. So um, it gets a little bit hard for corporate to to, to you know to see you know um, there's probably maybe a hundred thousand, if not more, um, that you know you know, put money into a bank account each day. So it's hard for them to go through the um, Half of them that go through the, um, the the statement of transactions and see which ones you know for, for, for which account. So this is why we have the invoice, so they can so they can re reconcile the invoice with the, with the bank transactions. So here we have the company name, um, Global Education Collective, and um, so that's so that's what the bank that's what the name um, of the bank is supposed to be. And like I said, don't worry about the SWIFT code. For us in Australia, don't worry about the SWIFT code because it's, you know, because that's only for people that um, <coughs> put money in from overseas, like you know, like New Zealand, like um, like America, like anywhere else in the world that, that you, know, you know that's putting money. In. And that's our bank account number. Forget about the foreign currency. Like I said, that's only for that's only for um, for anyone outside Australia. And that's our BSB number. So really, all we need is the BSB account and the name like normal and then when you're doing the reference the reference is um, that needs to be the reference there if the uh, and as as our reference you know we're going to put a certain amount of characters in so if you can't fit EIPI2 don't worry about it you only the, man, uh, the only mandatory things that we need is the invoice number and your um, um, your username, even if it's just the beginning of your username, so they can see that you know, you know, you know what your um, what it is, and then that's it. So now, now what you do once you've once you've got the, to this step, now you've got to go to your, and log into your bank. You've got to go into log, log into your, your your online banking. So I'm actually going to do this online now and show you how it's done.
Yeah, yeah. While I was doing this, did everybody understand what goes in your reference? The invoice number and your username. As much of your username as you can. The invoice number and your username. Very important. Is the invoice number the first, that 1540? It's on everybody's invoice. Yeah, when you print out your invoice, yeah. it's on top of the invoice. Now, yes, I am logging in and you didn't see my password and what kind of stuff, but I don't care because I, don't, I, didn't, I never had much money in this account. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's actually in, in, in cryptocurrency. I'm, apart from this $555, I'm completely out of the banking system. Completely. Now, I go up to here to transfer. <coughs> If anyone's on ING, they'll know they'll know this process, but it's the same process with um, Commonwealth Bank, with now NAB, with any other bank. You first you've got to put um, first you've got to put your um, you go to pay anyone. And I've got to go over here because I need to add a new. I'll put that up there. I need to add a new pay because I haven't actually done a bank transfer yet. I'm not from my account, I've done it from many other people's accounts. Bank account. So we've got the DSP and we've got that, um, where is that? That's here. No, it's not. Where did I put that? If you can't find it, just go to invoice.
Our fight now, yeah. yes. Send me an email, my dad, send me an email. Good. To safeguard yourself, would you um, send an email to you? yourself? Mm -hmm. No, I, I, I get messages if you have ING, you know, you do get messages. Oh, okay. in but the other thing. Um, if you want them, I don't really, don't really mind. What was that number? What was that number? Oh, of course. <laughs> From account. Didn't put that in. Mm -hmm. And two, 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 Global education. 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 Global education.
description. 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 Is. Education. One five four zero. One five four zero. Pretty much the next day. 
But if you don't do this step, it won't go into your account until you do this step. So you've got to go here to choose file. So you've got to actually confirm your payment. Choose file. Alan, is that the same if you're sending it uh, crypto out of your account? No, with crypto you have a you have a um, you have what they call a TXID, and it's um, you know um, as long as as long as the crypto transaction is done within the hour that you get, because it, you know it has the um, the you know the hour that's this click click it out of As long as the click transaction happens in that hour, it's fine. It's only when the, it's only when you you know you're sending multiple transactions in the one transaction which you shouldn't do anyway. Um, that's when it gets lost. Um, they used to have the, the, the hour. Now there's no, no time limit. Does that give any time limit when you when you do it? Okay, I haven't I haven't done a crypto transaction for a few weeks, but um, maybe it's maybe it is different. Maybe they have taken it off because of that. So um, yeah, so I. Um, Go to the desktop, I find it. Catch. Cool, capture. That one there. And you normally put press open and that and that uploads it and then you press send. If you don't do that step, like I said, if you don't do that step, they're not gonna see it. It because the confirmation won't go to corporate. We sent, um, we sent for Andrew and Sarah, our, um, our Australian directors. They sent, you know, twice a day. They sent the state to corporate. They emailed to corporate, to, so they can match up all the all the different in invoice numbers to to that. So, so you know, so if you do it right, it only takes two days to get money from 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 you know from your bank account into your wallet. Two days. Much quicker than the US. Much sorry, much quicker than the last time because we have to do a US account. Um, but the um, crypto is still quicker, and what's quicker, you know, and, 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 and the, the the quickest, if you can get someone to connect with you, is the Facebook trading group. Um, AUS slash NZ peer to peer exchange group. If you're in that, um, it's seems some. Um, it's, it's very it's, it's it's exactly like an order book exchange. We're meeting, you know, if I if I um, if I have say five hundred dollars, five hundred units in my bonus account, and I want to take them out, I, I put on this on this on this on this Facebook chat group. I say if I have five hundred unit, I want to I want to sell. Does anyone want it? And so someone will you know um, there's probably. Um, Maybe maybe hundred of us, maybe no, I think there's about five hundred of us now in, 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 in that group, all around all around Australia and also New Zealand as well. And someone that connects someone that sees that and says, Oh, you know, I, I actually want to put five hundred into my back office. So so they, they so they, they we connect, we start doing a private message together and they um, I give them my bank account details, they put you know and we go on to on to um, um, XE.com to, to to get an exchange rate from Australian to US dollars, and we, we agree on we agree on agree on the Australian dollar amount. They put that into my bank account. They take a screenshot and send it to me on Messenger. As soon as I see that on Messenger, I've done it. I transfer from my back office to their back office. So this is how we do it. I, um, I'm still in the, I'm still in the wallet. Everyone knows, everyone knows how to get to the wallet by go up and clicking on the wallet. So we come down to here, down to transfer funds. So as soon as someone's given me, um, sent me their um, the screenshot of the of the transaction that's been done, I put their login login in there. You can see the people of you know I've, um, I've already done it to already, and um, it always you know um, put it there in whatever account, um, which which account is coming you're transferred from. So I can transfer it from my main account or my bonus account, and then the amount obviously in there. And if you want to write a message, you know um, 
um, 500 unit for however much Australian dollars from Alan and, or something like that. You can write a message. And begin transfer. When you do the begin transfer, um, if you have Google Authenticator set up on your on your thing, um, you could you it'll ask for the for the Google Authenticator code. If you don't have Google Authenticator set up, it'll send you an email to the email that's registered with um, with with your um, account, and you'll and it'll email you a confirmation code. You put that confirmation code in um, in where it has the confirmation code and click send. And as soon as you click send, instantly the money's being transferred to their back office, into their into their main account. And um, that's so that's how that, that that's how quickly it can happen. You know, um, particularly on particularly um, end of month. You know, when they're, when we're changing when we're changing stages, that Facebook group just goes off like a rocket because there's always someone putting money in. You know, and you know it's just. It, we just we just churned probably. I I looked at it and um, in one in, in, in one 24 hour period, I calculated that we that, you know, that we turned over um, 150 thousand dollars just in that Facebook trading group from you know from all the people that wanting to put money in. So that's if you if, so like I said if you can if you can meet someone up you know you know you know with with. That want to put money in, you want to take money out. That's the, that's the quickest way to do it. The second quickest is crypto, and the and this is the third. You know, doing the bank. Anyone have any questions? Is there any fees for Do you get charged fees for transfer for, for for transfer from your account to my account? Who will raise your hands? It's just a normal bank account. So like like what we're doing the Facebook trading group, you train, you know if, if you if you want to um, you know me to transfer my you know, units to you, you transfer from your bank account to my bank account. Usually doesn't cost any fees, doesn't cost any money. Yeah. So that's exactly the same thing. Oh, good. Anyone else? Yep. So can you go to the uh, coin spot and once you put money into your coin spot account? Coin spot crypto. Yeah. yeah. One of two ways at the moment, um, either through that Facebook trading group, which is on which I which I just mentioned, or you can do it through, through cryptocurrency. Now, if you go here to withdraw funds, because we're still in the wallet, we get to go to withdraw funds, and when you go down here, withdraw. Well, put, put this one up here, up this side now. So, I've actually already got mine loaded. So, um, we can only do it um, with withdrawing funds, we're going to do it through cryptocurrency. Don't worry about all these Visa MasterCards because you can see that none of them have AUD. So, if none of them have AUD, um, that's our currency, Aussie dollars. Um, they don't work. Even if we even if we do it for US dollars, it still won't work because you know we 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 are we're on the, on an Australian system. So we're going to only want to do it through Bitcoin or Ethereum or Litecoin. So you need to have a cryptocurrency account, or you just use the Facebook trading account, um, our our Facebook account to to take money out that one. By, by transferring units to, to someone else's back office when they when they've done the bank transfer.
So the coin, coin spot, uh, sorry, the, the coin jar account, you wanted to show how to put money into the coin spot? So this is my coin spot account. Oh, sorry, coin jar, you said, didn't you? Spot. Coin spot. Actually, the same, actually, to put money in, you, you said you wanted to put money in, didn't you? And, into, your, into your crypto, coin spot account. Yep. So, to put money in. Thank you. 
it's the actual exact the actual transaction on the blockchain. So 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 for instance, if it gets lost, um, we can send that actual that actual TX ID or the transaction the transaction ID. That's what TX stands for. The transaction, the ID. We can email that to corporate um, for Karina or for anyone in the corporate to do it. And all I need to do is, is, is copy and paste into their system, and oh voila, there it is. Because they can see it on the blockchain. It won't be lost. It's only it's. It's only if it, it's only if you don't do it straight away, and it takes a bit, take, it takes a bit of time. That's when things get a little bit hairy, you know, you get a little bit lost. But as long as you've got that TX ID, it's fine. Then we, you know, we can always find it. So where is it? Where would it? Be? When you get the confirmation email. Okay, yes, right. Um, you know, so so after you've done this, you you, you, you get an email. You got to confirm that you're going to send the yes. you're going to send the coin. And then once you've once you've confirmed it, then they'll send you another email, you know, you know a, confirm a confirmation email that has been sent. And then that email will have your TX ID. Yeah, because I made Bluey, I didn't put the right amount in. And it wasn't there, it wasn't there right. for a few days. Yep. So I sent my email and they did correct it. Yeah, okay. Put in, but it took a few days, I was yep. freaking yep. out. Um, however, um, when it comes to crypto, if you're doing large transactions, um, try to do it with Bitcoin. Because the reason being is because because of the price of Bitcoin, you know, it was between kind of around seven thousand dollars an ounce. No, not an ounce. <laughs> seven thousand dollars a coin around that. Uh, around that. Um, you know, if you're going to do, you know, you know, anywhere, you know, anywhere seven to ten thousand dollars, it's only going to be one point. Whatever bit, uh, bit, bit, Bitcoin, whereas um, Ethereum or even worse, Litecoin. Um, Litecoin is you know like fifty-four dollars thereabouts at the moment. It's probably going to be about a hundred or two hundred Litecoin, and it's going to take a long time to confirm on the blockchain. Yeah. Or or Ethereum, you know, if you're going to do a big transaction on Ethereum, it's going to probably going to be about maybe 50, 40, 40 to fifty Ethereum. That's still going to take a long time as well. However, Ethereum is very quick, and so is Litecoin. It's very, it's very quick. But when you, when they, when they got to train, when they got to do a um, hundred, a hundred, you know, or so, um, you know, Litecoin, it does, it is quick. But it is, it, it, I have found. Some other people may have found, may have found different. I have found that um, yes, Bitcoin is a little bit slow. But when you're sending big transactions, I do it in Bitcoin because you, because you only need one point whatever, to, you know, to send. And there goes my battery. Um, yes. Even though, even though you copy the, the code, yep. you got to make sure the first, the, the first, say two or three number of letters and the last one are the same. I always write down. Yes, 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 yes. You can. Um, you can. Yeah. Zero, zero, X, zero, X, capital A, little A, and five C. You know, you can do that. I, I, I often do that. Um, however, you know, if I'm if I'm copying it, yeah, you're right. I still do the first couple and the last couple, yeah, just, just, sure. just, just to be sure. Correct. Yeah. Can yeah. you just check on before I hit the scene? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's going to send it's going to send the code to your phone. Oh, yeah. 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 So have you got two factor of authentication on that? On that? Yeah. It's the one it's saying, it's saying it wants you to enable the two factor of authentication too. Yep. Okay, so that goes in there. Yeah, just click that button. Or just double click something. Or click that button. Double click on another one. Down the other Yep. And then, and then control C. Do you the Mac do control C? Yep. Check the Put that in email. Yeah. 
Okay. 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 So, does anyone want to know anything else while my battery is still on? I suppose I'll just plug it in. Yes, time, yep, yep. Alright, um, thanks for inviting me up here, Paul, to train everyone. And I hope everyone got what they wanted to. Thanks for um, coming. You can always come up to me and ask me questions after if you like.